offers a lot of great perks when it comes with camping in a minivan. Accessibility, stealth, you could just fit in a lot of places. Drive-through privileges, as in you can still go through the drive-through, but it's not all daisies and cream. You know, the old English saying, daisies and cream. So in case you're one of those people contemplating, hmm, should I turn my minivan into a camper? Uh, here's some downsides that I wish I knew before <laughs> starting van life in a little in a little minivan. The first and biggest point is, is that there's no standing space, which obviously it's a minivan. You can't stand in a minivan. I wish we could. <laughs> and really with van life thing, it's not imperative that you have standing room, but if you're mostly in city areas where you don't have like an outside patio that you can make yourself, you know, because when you're camping out in the woods or where there's less eyes on you, it's okay to set out a lawn chair or just be outside your vehicle without people being like, are they living in there? You know, in my recent travels, I just done city areas. So I didn't really have that makeshift patio that most people can do. And that cost me physically, like my back hurt, my neck kind of hurt. Cause also on my bed, the main place that I sit in the back of my van is just below where my sitting height is. So when I sit on it, I have to like crouch down. And I hate that. And that really wore and tore on my neck. So if you're planning on converting a minivan into a camper, I highly suggest just to make sure that nothing like breaks in your body to stretch and stretch every single day, especially after you wake up. I think that's the best time to do so because you know you're sleeping and you're probably going to be a little bit curled up more than you used to. And if you don't, congratulations. Uh, how does it feel to be God's favorite? <laughs> but just making sure that you're able to stretch and have a place in your van that you are able to fully sit up is going to do wonders for you. Because doing this every day, like making your meals, eating, hiding from the rain, it's gonna hurt and you're gonna be kind of pissed off because you're like, oh, where's this kink coming from? Kink? Yeah, kink in the neck. You know what I mean. Where is this irritation coming from? Your living situation. <laughs> so yeah, if you cannot handle standing for uh, quite some time, still get a minivan. Another thing about having a minivan as your camper van is that you have little to none storage. Some vans are actually spectacular for storage because the seat itself goes into the floor. And that means if you can take out that seat entirely, you're gonna have that cavity of storage. And that's awesome. I can't really do that because I put down a wooden floor because I try so hard to make it not seem like a car from the interior, but uh, you don't have to do that. You can still have the carpet space in the little nooks and crannies that come with a car floor, but not me. Not I, said the fly. <laughs> Speaking of, if you hear flies, uh, there's a fly trap right over there and they come over here just like that. But even if the van doesn't have that cavity space option for the seats, you're still able to fit a good deal of stuff in there, especially if you make your own like organizational cabinets or system, whatever you want it to be like. So I'm not saying there's no storage space. It's just that a uh, little van, little space. That's including storage. I wish I had a van that had a little bit more storage space because well, one, I'm organizational to a point. I'm not overly organizational. I like to bring extra things because I never know when I will go snorkeling. And I never know when I need a painting set in case I'm like inspired all of a sudden. So I, I make my own problems myself, of course. It would be nice to bring that all with me, but I have to skimp out on the extra stuff that I could have brought with me if I had a bigger van. So if you're a minimalist, this would not be a problem for you. <laughs> but uh, if you're a maximalist, Maximist? Maximalist? The opposite of minimalist. Like me, make sure you have a way to really fit everything you want. It's a lot of brain power, more than I thought it was going to. Just like making that sentence, it was hard for some reason. And I hope you enjoy all these angles that I'm bringing you. It's taking me a lot of work to stand up, pick this phone up, and uh, drag it around my front yard with me. The third warning I would give to anyone considering a minivan for their camper is that a little mess, is a big mess. And I mean that in the sense that your space is so small. So even like the littlest pile or like, you know, things shoved to the side of a seat will seem like a big deal and can quickly consume your car. If you're not careful, I know from experience. I'm pretty clean when it comes to my own room, like my own physical in-house room <laughs> in my parents' house. I do tend to have that chair, as people do, of their dirty things or just like a mess that needs to be organized. Who doesn't? It's just those little things I can get away with. You cannot get away with little things in your car, little messes in your car. 
because if a big mess overwhelms you in your house, a little mess is going to overwhelm you in a minivan. Let me put it like that. Hopefully that makes sense. I didn't expect anything like that beforehand because I've had little messes in my van. That's why I thought they would be fine. But when that van becomes not just your transportation vessel, but your home, those messes are gonna be hitting you differently. That's all, just so you know. This one is not a big deal at all. It's just funny to me. Um, if you have a minivan as a camper, you're gonna feel slightly out of place at camping sites. I don't know if anyone else experiences this because you have all these big campers and just obviously camper vehicles, you know, we're here to live in this van. That's what camper vans give the vibe out, right? They're very honest about what they're used for. And you come up with this van, and like obviously you don't have to prove anything to these people you're there for yourself like you're probably not gonna even talk to them maybe but um it's just funny <laughs> i was like should i be here do they know that i use this for sleeping and i'm not just like lost and my last con for having a minivan as your camper is that it feels at times that you can never make it a full house situation let me explain. Sorry, I got used to sitting, so um, uh, I'm sitting again. While minivans can be your full-time living situation, it kind of feels like you're missing out when you see these videos of bigger vans that have a full kitchen or a full bathroom or just like separate areas for each place that would be in a house. And as someone who loves cooking for like the community aspect and just being able to have an air fryer, an oven, and a stove going at the same time so I can have a really nice meal, the air fryer is making fries of course, but it can feel like you're missing out on a fuller van life experience because you don't have those things. But I will say, that's not the point of van life, right? Like having a full kitchen, having a full bathroom, having three sets of beds for whoever wants to join you is not the point of van life. I'm trying to remind myself that. Is it envy? Yeah, but at the same time, like, I'm happy where I am. But honestly, guys, I'm super content to have my minivan as my camper because it just suits my needs at the moment. And really, it suits my kind of, like, lifestyle, comfort level, and... Like, I can go through drive throughs like I said. But these are just some things I wish I had a heads up on before I made my conversion. It wouldn't stop me, per se, um, because it suits my top five needs. And that's what you have to assess for yourself. If you're going to start van life, you have to make up your own list of important things you need in a van. Freaking cars going by me, I don't even care. But you need to decide for yourself what matters more to you. Do you need the space? Do you not need the space? Do you need more stealth? Or do you not care if people think your van is a camper van? For me, I love stealth. I love being able to go to more places and being able to like not be limited by the size of my van, the height of my van, the weight of my van. Surprisingly, there's a lot of bridges that have a weight limit and yeah, probably not gonna turn your minivan of I don't even know how much weight that is, but you're probably not gonna turn it into a semi-truck weight Overnight you might if you add like a lot of wood to it But I'm pretty sure you'll be fine. But those are all my personal cons of living in a van Hopefully I can remedy some of them and just remind myself to stretch more because the kinks were bad I wish there was another word. There is another word, but I'm too lazy to look it up right now I just want to talk to you guys. Let me show you what my van looks like right now. So like I said in my community post, I've been very busy with family and life things. So she is messy, but I still want to show you what your minivan can look like if you neglect it for a bit. And for a bit, I mean three months. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, when I said a small mess can really like mess you up, uh, imagine what a big mess does to my brain. This not even funny it's like sad well guys i'm gonna actually just start doing this by next week for you guys it'll be done and actually next week i'll be doing the pros of living in a minivan so uh, stay tuned for that because there's a lot of them i'm a big advocate for minivan campers because it just makes sense no one needs a big van you don't need a bus maybe if you have kids kids need space one person come on man you don't need it <laughs> But obviously I'm joking, do whatever you want. That is it for this week's video. If you made it this far, type in Madison's back with as many exclamation points as you want. <laughs> Cause I'm back and I'm here to stay, baby. Um, anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time, next week. Same bat time, same bat channel.
バイ。